and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so today we will be starting with a timer now what exactly is a timer and what is it used for now a timer is basically something kind of like um, let's say you want to create an animation for example you use a timer to like set intervals for when the animation should move should it move every two seconds should it move every five milliseconds however you want it timers can also be used then let's say someone clicks on a button the timer will basically hold back the code for insert number of seconds or milliseconds until the timer has finished ticking and then it will display the whatever the next part of the code says it's basically like that so how will we use a timer now we will use a timer in terms of animations so we will be going straight out of the book and we'll be using everything they use i'll just be explaining it as we go along so we have a panel also, my uh, things might look a little bit different than usual. It's because I switched to Delphi Community Edition. Because we have Delphi 10 and Delphi Community Edition. Now, I don't really know what's the difference. They're both quite the same. This one has a few extra features that this one doesn't have. This one has a few that that one doesn't have. So, to me, I just want to use this. And I must say, this one actually runs slightly better than um, the other one but you know all right so they have a panel they have one image another panel and a button so it's an image a button first before i have to do things and then another panel all right so the image is right around here there and then a button so let's quickly design it so we want to put an image in here so we'll have to save our files first save all right so now we can go to that file we can choose an image and go to that file so i have a bunch of pictures here paste the image here Oh, you really had to process for that one. All right, so I'm, not, I'm just going to make it easier on it myself and just make it one long or one short string, the name. Hello, PC, can you respond? Linux, okay. There, that should make my life easier. Now, I believe I did tell you all how to insert an image. So I don't think I need to explain that again. Can you run, PC, please? And then we can add the image by going to picture in the object inspector for this image. Then we can go load. Then it should appear in the same folder. Yeah, there we go. Linux to JPG. Open. Okay. We can do this in the code. But we shall not. We, we try to do it like this. For now at least and this one can be welcome to no okay we're not gonna do that um come to pc world i guess all right so now we have that let's add a little bit of color because they make it look colorful i can't really see it in black and white but we make it red And uh, then we gotta change the font. Okay, we can go terminal maybe. I don't know. Just make it really big. Uh, can we make it like 20 pixels maybe? All right, here we go. Welcome to PC World. And then we have a button. Uh, we should probably name these. Okay, let's name them uh, before we continue name img linux all right this can be whoa 
these appear at name. PNL. Wait, can you there? PNL. Um, welcome. All right, and then button. BT. And enter. Okay. So then we can just go to caption if I'm correct. Yes, caption. Could you please? Okay, so that's something that this Delphi does. Click to enter shop. Okay, that should be all. I should have actually done this in the background now that I think about it. All right, but anyways, there we go. So what's gonna happen is, oh, and we also need a timer before I forget. Timer, there we go. All right, so timer is not visible by default and I don't think you can make it visible. So yeah, um, this will be TMR, I don't know, animate. Okay, now interval, this is, let me explain this. Intervals is in milliseconds. Now what happens is basically milliseconds, we know every thousand milliseconds is one second. Interval is how many times, so I have like over one second to do this, then over the next one second start with this. You know, it's new intervals. I don't really know, that's some kind of something you should know by yourself. But anyways, so basically we can go into the timer, if it will allow us. There we go. And now we're in here. Let's create a few variables. Variable. I write side, then I write border, which is an integer, both of them. Now, basically, what are we going to use this for? We're going to use this to kind of find out how far the image can move you know like how we want the image to kind of scroll we can say so if we were to go here the image would go like this and then back here like this back here constantly like that that's what we want so let's go so i write side excuse me becomes image linux but left plus image linux dot with now you might be asking yourself wait 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 what does that do i thought we were going to make it move and stuff basically we're figuring out where is the right side of the image so we kind of want to find out the y coordinate we can say remember x up and down y left and right y increases x increases to just to go back to that anyways so now we find we, if we find we kind of figured out what the y coordinate is of the right hand side of the image also this is on page 112 if you have the book so you can go check there then i write border becomes so this is where i should most likely uh, probably name you before I continue we can't see your thing so I don't have to really clear your name oh no not padding name okay PNL uh, PNL form let's just, let's just go down it is a name for now we don't have to worry about that okay becomes PNL form if I am not mistaken PNL form 
Well, technically, we shouldn't have used that. They say with. I'm just gonna go with and see and just go with that, okay? Then here we can go. If I write, whoopsie, I right side is more or equal to I right border. Now I don't know if this is correct because I accidentally added a freaking freaking panel because I thought that looked really much like a panel but anyways so then you go image linux the left becomes 10 and basically what this does once it kind of once the image goes the image's right side goes for further than the right side border of the panel it will go back to its original place or a little bit four because I don't think we do that 10 anyways and else begin so let's just first write the code and I'll explain image linux dot left becomes image linux dot left plus 20 so this will make a move every one second with 20 pixels all right so here we have our whole thing i see as you can see it does actually work so far so this is basically what it does it moves it every one second one two three four as you can see now let's see if it goes back there Yeah, as you can see it goes back there so now let's explain this finds the right side of the image it finds image to the left how much left it is plus the image is worth because remember we find kind of the X because worth is X so we start here now it finds this point and then adds the width of the image then it finds the actual where the image actually is then as soon as it hits this part this as soon as this one hits this part and the, the timer ticks again it goes back here because now yeah anyways so I hope you understand that part if you don't I do recommend go checking out the book or just comment in in the comment section and I'll explain it further then I write border I didn't actually need this it's just to kind of um, make it easier to understand you know the variable just makes it easier basically what this does it gets the width of the panel so it gets this and if this if the x coordinate if the coordinate of this part of the image is more than this width then it goes back and it starts again Alright, then here, if the right side is more equal to I right border, then it yet yeah, see that it starts again, and otherwise it goes with 20. Now you might think if you wanted to go faster, you'd make this 30 or 50 or something, but it doesn't work like that. You should stay 20, because if you want it to go faster, this is where the timer comes in, you change the interval to 500 milliseconds, or even lower if that's what you like run it again and you will see this will go quite the amount faster as you can see it now it takes off every 500 milliseconds so yeah this is a basic version of what it can do Now of course you can make this more intense and even change the background color of this or something because this basically just ticks. It just gives you something to time with. Like let's say 
For example, that save the ball game I made, link in the description. That, for example, uses a timer to animate the balls going toward you. And the timer says, hey, this ball shouldn't move until this timer is at this point, you know? And then it kind of keeps the ball from moving until the timer reached it, okay? So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys learned something new. And see you all in the next video.